Behind me is one big rocket engine. This is one of the F-1 engines used on the first stage of the Saturn V rocket that took astronauts to the moon in the 1960s. This engine develops about one and a half million pounds of thrust. OMG. Clustered together, they lifted off and took astronauts all the way to the moon with all that they needed to come back to the Earth. Now, why do we build these big rocket engines? Well, these big rocket engines are obviously needed to get big rockets off the ground. In the 1960s, they decided to build only a few of really big engines, whereas today, companies like SpaceX are using multiple engines that are not quite as powerful, but when you put them all together, they have a thrust equal to or greater than you might have been able to achieve with these big engines in the Saturn V program. So, rocket engines, give you thrust, give you propulsion, let you get off the ground. There are multiple ways to do it. This one is one great engine, and amazingly enough, the technology to build it was understood as far back as the 1940s during World War II, when Dr. Werner von Braun and the German rocket team were working for the German government building the V1 and V2 uh, rockets. So the V2s caused terror and, and bombing of England. And after the war, they came to the USA to build our rocket program. And in the course of that, the Russians launched Sputnik. From that was spun off NASA, a civilian non-military effort to explore space. And the German rocket science team devoted their efforts to building the rockets that took us to the moon using the technologies that they developed in the late 30s through the mid 40s in Nazi Germany. There you have it. Our technology has history, goes back many years, goes back to World War II, and the engines and the rockets that are flown today can trace their heritage all the way back to that, the work of Dr. Robert Goddard, and ultimately the Chinese a few thousands years ago who built and flew the first rockets.